In this video, you're going to see something a little unusual, a comparison between an omnidirectional microphone and a cardioid microphone at different angles. The microphone is from the Sherps Colette series, with the CMC6 amplifier, which forms the body of the microphone, and the MK2H omnidirectional capsule, and the MK4 cardioid capsule. The videos were shot at Abbey Road Studio 2, and the complete set of videos can be found in our course Microphone Polar Patterns and Stereo Configurations. These are just a couple of the tests we made. Firstly, let's listen to the omnidirectional mic from the front. The microphone is pointing directly at the sound source, which, as you might guess, is me. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Now let's hear the cardioid. You should listen for both the direct sound and the reverberation from the room. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. It's a subtle difference, but the cardioid has less reverberation and the proportion of direct sound is greater. Here's a comparison. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. The change in framing between the shots might be a little distracting, so here's the same thing in audio only. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. It is a subtle difference, but it's definitely there. You might have to listen a few times to tune in your ears. Now let's try the same thing at 90 degrees. In the Microphone Polar Patterns and Stereo Configurations course, you can hear positions all around in a full circle. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. And the comparison. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Here's the same thing in audio only. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. This time the difference is greater. The omnidirectional capsule is almost identical to how it sounds from the front. The cardioid capsule, however, is lower in level in the direct sound, while the reverberation is more or less the same as it was from the front. It's important to understand polar patterns in theory, but it is also important to develop an oral awareness of what they actually sound like. This is a great test to try out yourself, and even if you only have one microphone, I definitely recommend that you do. I'm David Meller, Course Director of Audio Masterclass. Come to audiomasterclass.com and take a look at our range of online audio courses. Thank you for listening.